Hey everybody, welcome back. These are some entitled customers that deserve to get called out. I just had 15 people come in 20 minutes before we close and I go up to them to say, hey guys, I just want to let you know we're going to be closing in 20 minutes, but you want to get something to go? She's like, we have 15 people. Do you think we want to get something to go? And obviously I knew the answer was no. So I say, I'm sorry, would you guys want to come back another day? She's like, no, we're standing here right now. I'm like, I'm sorry, we're closing in about 20 minutes. You know, I don't think we'll have enough time. My manager over here comes around and is like, oh, well, actually we can sit you. So then she ends up getting sat by the time they're finally ready to give me a drink order it's literally closed half of them are children so i make their drinks drop brother them off. instantly three of them spill it they're like oh well this is why we usually get kitty cups i'm like well you didn't ask for kitty cups meanwhile these kids aren't three or four years old they're literally like nine and ten year olds you would think they would be able to drink from a glass with a straw but anyway so i go and i have to make the kitty cups by the time they're w willing to give me their food order it's literally 4 30 and we closed at four o'clock so they're giving me their food order i'm putting this in i realized half of these things that they picked they didn't give me like all of the answers i needed so if they ordered a breakfast platter they didn't tell me how they wanted their eggs or they didn't tell me if they wanted two meats and you might say that i'm the problem but meanwhile during their whole order it was not like hey man what can i get for you it's literally all of them just yelling at me at once being like how's the chicken quesadilla how's the chicken hero how's this so obviously i'm not going to be able to be in my like full focus mode okay just pausing this here for a second i feel like a lot of people need to work in like either retail or they need to work for a restaurant because anyone who's worked in the restaurant industry knows that you do not show up with a table of 15 people 20 minutes before closing. You just don't. And you certainly can't expect it to go well or for them to be receptive of you. <laughs> you can expect a whole lot of Bit in your food. I'd be worried, honestly. To go back and ask them, she's like, I don't know. Let me see the menu again. So I have to go get the menu. Meanwhile, this happens three times in a row to three of the different people sitting there. I have to go and grab the menus because they can't make a decision on the spot. Two of them decided to change their food from breakfast things to literal just chicken sandwiches. I don't know how you can just be craving breakfast and then change it to a chicken sandwich besides the point. So <laughs> then I come to drop it off to them and they're not answering me. I'm like, guys, who had the chicken sandwich? Even though I should know this, it's not the point. Just help me out. There's 15 of you and I have a giant tray filled with food. No one sits up. I'm like, hello, who had the chicken sandwich? They're like, look at the help. This woman literally said, look at the help. Is that me? Am I the help? I'm a server. This isn't even the end of it. Somehow, something was in their food. I don't know if it was a hair. I don't know what it was. Something was in their food. This woman starts hysterically screaming at me that she's being poisoned. So I have to go back to the kitchen and be like, guys, it doesn't look like a hair. I don't know what this is. They're like, oh, I think that's just like part of the pulp of the avocado that we use <laughs> in her guacamole chicken sandwich. And so I go back and tell her, I'm like, oh, they said that that's not, you know, anything bad. It's just from the avocado. She's like, I have made a million guacamole things in my life and I have never seen that. I'm like, well, I don't think they're lying, ma'am. She's like, I don't think they're lying. I think they're trying to save their butts. And I'm like, um, I'm really sorry, ma'am. I have to go and get the manager. The manager comes out. They're literally battling back and forth until finally this woman's food got taken off. And shortly after, they left, leaving us the worst review I've ever witnessed in my entire life. Okay, again, don't go into a restaurant with a table of 15 people 20 minutes before close and expect it to go well. Just don't. It's at the end of the shifts. Buddy's checked out already. I'm at the end of my shift and I need to look at the comments. It pisses me off when people come in last minute when managers have no backbone and seat them anyway. I agree with this. I already didn't like the fact that your manager said, Yeah, for sure. Totally. You can just stay later, right? No. And the thing is, is you got to stay until they leave. So they could just sit there taking their time. It doesn't matter if they say, no, it's okay. It's fine. It's like, no, it's like two in the morning. But no, it's fine. It's fine. No, all good. They hate you. They hate you. <laughs> oh God, we have a part two. Show me this review. Show me this review, babes. I'm currently on my way to work, but this is the part two you guys wanted. Thoroughly disappointed by the treatment my family and I received. Came in and were told that we would have to leave because they would be closing soon. Never have I ever seen a customer been told this. The boy who told us this clearly was lazy and just wanted to leave because the manager on staff kindly let us sit, who I thanked graciously. Girly, you came in 15 minutes before close, so I went up to you and said, hey, did you guys want to get something to go? And you rudely looked at me and said, no, why would we want to get something to go? And then my manager came around and let you sit.
time. I'm not lazy. I worked a 12 hour shift five days in a row and just wanted to go home at the end of it. The meal was adequate. However, the same boy from before traumatized the children after screaming in their faces not to break the crayons. I mean, who does that to kids over cheap crayons? I had to intervene and tell him not to speak to my child in such a way. He seemed unbothered, which only got more under my skin. Girly, when I gave you these $75 crayons, I dropped them off and said, Hey guys, I just want to let you know these are a little bit pricey. Please don't break them, but I hope you guys enjoy. So when I came back and they were snapped, ruined, and drowned, yeah, I was like, guys, please don't break those. But you screamed in my face that I'm the help and that I shouldn't be speaking to your kids. Who's more in the wrong? I think it's you. Shortly after, we left with a sense that this place needs to hire some better help. Girly, why don't you work there if you're so good? Because I don't think I'll ever be up to your standards, even if I take a thousand classes on how to be the best server for you. The police might need to hire some better help, but you need to download better help, honey. <laughs> not sponsored, not an ad. Just thought it was funny. I love how bad reviews also tend to leave out certain things. It's like you only shared the parts where, you know, makes you seem like the good guy and the victim here. The meal was adequate. However, <laughs> just so that we are all clear, if you go into a restaurant with all these people, with children, Treat your servers with grace, especially if it's at the end of their shift and they're almost closing. You should be grateful to have that table. Why is your restaurant giving children $75 crayons? That is a good point. $75 crayons? Okay, yeah, that is a good point. We should not be giving children $75 crayons. Girl, I will be bringing it up at the next staff meeting not to restock. Just go to the freaking dollar store or something. Kids don't need $75 crayons, they don't. What part of closing don't people understand? They don't, they don't seem to understand that. The concept of something closing. But didn't you know you're the help and you exist solely to help other people who treat you like poo poo? When did people become so entitled? I cannot stand it. Hear me out, maybe I'm wrong. I was Same. at an exhibition the other day. I'm waiting my turn to do one of the stations at the exhibition. But then a family cuts ahead of me. Doesn't even acknowledge that I'm there. I'm like, maybe they didn't see me. Clearly I'm here. Maybe they didn't see me because people have no fing self awareness anymore. Another station opens up. I go to that station and said, I'm like, great. So I sit down at the station. I'm, it's a stop animation station. So you're making a stop. And it takes a minute. It takes a while. You gotta have patience. When that family that cut ahead of me is now standing directly behind me with no personal space, breathing down my neck, waiting to do my station. Oh, but it gets better. I kid you not. The kid goes, Mommy, she's taking way too long. I don't want to wait any longer. The mom's got to say something, right? The mom doesn't say anything. Just lets her kid keep whining and complaining about having to wait. What? What? I don't get it. How do people not realize there are other people in the world? How are these people real? Am I crazy? No, you're not crazy. You're not crazy, babes. Entitled parents raise entitled children. We must teach our kids patience and that they don't get everything that they want simply because they ask for it. People don't have self-awareness. People are entitled. They have lots of the audacity. They're delulu. Just adding it to the long, long list of like modern day society is the most ridiculous thing you have ever had to explain to someone in a customer service. Good morning, what can I get for you? I'll have a dozen. Okay, which ones would you like? Let me get three glaze and five chocolate. Okay, uh, you got four more for the dozen. How many are in the box? Uh, right now there's eight in here, so another four would make the dozen. No, no, no. How many are in the box? A dozen! Um, five chocolate and three glaze makes eight. I've been coming here for 10 years and you can't answer a simple <laughs> freaking question. I'm sorry, could you reiterate if I'm not answering your simple freaking question? How many donuts are in the box? Are you asking me how many come in a dozen? <laughs> yes. A dozen is 12. Of anything. Of eggs, donuts, and all kinds of stuff. And the fact that they're mad at you for not explaining to them what a dozen is. I have been coming here for 15 years. And you don't know what a dozen is. I have been living on this earth for 38 years. And you don't know what a dozen is. I work at Krispy Kreme. I literally answer this question daily. Why does nobody know what a dozen is? Oh my Lord. A dozen means 12. <laughs>
Wait till she finds out there's a baker's dozen too. Oh wait, oh, oh what's a baker's dozen? Oh, baker's a dozen. <laughs> 13! Am I sitting in the back? No. Yeah, I don't like to sit there. I don't like when people sit in the front. I cannot sit there? Yeah, I don't like when people sit in the front. And I'm gonna so. order something else. All right, sounds good. It's a policy I've had since I had a, um unfortunate incident that happened. I just politely asked for the person to sit in the back. It's more of a safety thing, actually. Yeah, that's fair. So cancel it. Okay. We'll do. Thank you. Are you serious with me? No, I don't like when people sit in the front, period. I'll cancel and refund you. But this customer is not interested in a cancellation. <laughs> okay, let me do this. I'm gonna ride in the back and I'm gonna find a complaint, okay? What? Um, I have I have the rights to make my own offer. I am uh, I am an independent contractor and I have the right to deny this right. Good. So let's take a discussion. No. Please leave my vehicle. Yes. No. But take a look at us later. Come on. No, please. Sir, please leave my vehicle. I did have a vibe that he had some sort of feeling that he was above me in a way. You know, how he directly just, you know, slammed my door went into the back seat and said, let's have a conversation. Okay, let's let's get this clear r right here now. Ubers, like Uber drivers are contractors. Therefore, they don't necessarily work for anyone. That is their car and they have the right to refuse service, to tell you that they want you in the back because yeah, it is a safety issue. And honestly, like I'm a little uncomfortable with like why he insists upon being in the front. Like, sir, have we not been in a taxi before? We sit in the back. That's when I thought, you know, I, I don't want this problem. I don't want this issue. And that's when the man's outrageous entitlement takes the wheel. Is that because I'm white? No, sir. You're, no. you're a oh, oh, and this is good yes, because I'm yes, too yes, yes, yes. That and then Bob DeLee was screw you, you The furious man hurls a racial slur at Randy. <laughs> you're you're a oh, oh. And this is good because yes, I'm yes, too yes, dash can. Yeah. There's been instances before where I dealt with passengers who were culturally insensitive, but this incident was the most blatant form of racism that has happened in my vehicle. That the mom to leave was screw you. Okay, honestly, like I this is exactly why you make people sit in the back. Like <laughs> this is this is exactly why. Or you just don't let people in your car to begin with. Who wants someone to just get in their car in their personal space and berate them and hurl racial slurs at them? Oh, thank you so much. You got my camera. Hoo -hoo, this is good. But not so good for the disgruntled customer. You because Randy can identify him. I was livid when I got home. I sent the video to the local press and the rest was history. He's Hans Berglund, the CEO of a fertilizer oh. company, but not for much longer. Berglund is fired from the company he founded, banned from using the rideshare app, and claims his life has been ruined. Well, this is a little thing I like to call the consequences of your actions. I work at a restaurant and this happened to me the other day. Hi, welcome in. How can I help you? Yeah, we have a reservation for tonight. Perfect. What time is your reservation for? 6.45. Okay, perfect. Um, it's about five o'clock right now. So you're more than welcome to have a seat at our bar down here and grab a drink beforehand and hang out for a little bit. And I'll grab you closer to that 6.45 time slot and I'll bring you up for your dinner. Oh no, we're ready now. Okay, well, um, your reservation is for about two hours out, uh, so you can have a seat down here and I can let you know if anything cancels or if somebody doesn't show up for their reservation, but we are unfortunately pretty booked out tonight, so it's probably gonna be closer to that 6.45 time slot. I love your little customer service voice, girl. <laughs> it does diffuse like almost any situation. Okay, well, love to have you sit at the bar. If this was real life and not just like you would lose your job if you said it, you'd be like, I'm sorry, do we not know how to human? You made an appointment and you're two hours early for your appointment. No, we cannot see you right now. Learn how to human. So you can't just get us up for dinner now? No, unfortunately our kitchen doesn't even start serving our dinner menu until 5.30. Um, so our dining room is closed upstairs right now. But if you're hungry, we do have like a more limited casual bar menu. So you can grab an appetizer or something beforehand. Um, again, I can let you know if something cancels, but it is pretty booked tonight. Can you serve us dinner down here at the bar? 
So we don't offer our full dinner service at the bar down here. And like I said, our kitchen isn't even serving dinner for another half an hour or so. Um, so if you'd like to grab a snack down here and get something in your belly, I will let you know if anything opens up and if we can get you up any sooner than 645. Okay, you can just cancel our reservation. We'll have bar food for dinner. Girl, you have so much more patience than me. Like, oh God. The audacity for them to treat you like it's your problem and your fault. <laughs> that they show up two hours before they're supposed to eat and they're angry that they can't just get in two hours. That's what reservations are for, babes. It's not book a reservation for whatever time and show up wherever you want. You show up at the scheduled time. How do people not know this? Why don't these people fully comprehend the concept of an appointment or reservation? This is the thing. They do understand they just wanted to eat earlier. The explanations you servers give in the USA, my God, in Europe, it would just be no, not possible, right? Because in Europe, <laughs> in Europe, they don't really have like a tipping system. You know, they make like a, like a, like a living wage and they don't give a, they literally don't care. You show up early for your reservations. They're like, no. You have, you know, hair in your food. They're like, and it's good for you. It's good. Tasty protein. <laughs> <laughs> you show up before it's closing. Honestly, they close like for siesta, <laughs> like two hours out of the day, okay? As soon as it's siesta time, it's like off. <laughs> Honestly, Europeans know how to live. I just found out I'm up for two Grammys. My very first time, you guys. My name is Bobby Storm and I'm up for two Grammys. I don't need anything, I need you. By my side, shining your light, I know. Are you going to be quiet? But they're enjoying it. So while we're sitting here, could I please? I'm not enjoying it. <laughs> so I'm asking you, can you be quiet? Okay, why? Well, that's, yes, that's a yes or no uh, answer, please. Am I going to go to jail if I don't? Can you please answer my question? Are you willing and able to be quiet right now? I'm doing what the Lord is telling me to do. I'm asking you a question. Yes the or Lord? no. I'm your flight leader. I need you to follow my instruction. Okay. My instructions for you to answer my question. Are you able to be quiet? What right do you now? guys think? I'm asking you, ma'am. I'm asking you guys. What do you guys okay. think? Okay. If you're not able to, be, to follow my instruction, yeah. you will not be taking this flight. Ah, uh, okay. Are so you that's able to be asking. quiet? If that's the case, then that's fine. If you were the so person yes. in charge of it all. I'm your flight leader, yes. If you're the person in charge okay. of it all, then that's okay. fine. Okay. All right. Thank all right. you. Oh God, how are you not embarrassed? How, like congrats on the Grammy noms, girl, but like they just try to take a flight. They don't need to hear a performance. They didn't pay for that. That ego in economy. Oh, 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 she did not. Oh, oh, wow. Oh, that was, that was below the belt. <laughs> this has to be a skit, please. I no, I don't know. I don't know. I think it's real. Who is Bobby Storm? <laughs> I don't know that either. I'm really not trying to be mean, but I've never heard of her before. Bobby Storm, what do you guys think? Everyone else? Can you just shut up? Sorry, I'm just like trying to nap. <laughs> She's doing what the Lord is telling her to do, and I'm doing what the Lord is telling me to do, and I'm going to end this video right now because the Lord told me to. So goodbye, subscribe!